Hello, this is Michael with the current planning division of the Planning and Urban Design Department of the City of Dallas. I'm recording this tutorial on how to use our online zoning map, which has information regarding planning and development on any given property in the city and is available to the public on our website. So I'm here on DallasCityHall.com, that's our homepage, and I can use that to navigate to the planning resources page. So I go to business up here at the top and then development and then zoning current planning. And that will load our homepage for the current planning division. And generally current planning is responsible for zoning changes on individual properties, uh, usually in regards to a redevelopment or a change of use. However, that involves usually first place, the zoning map referring to that, to seeing where we need to change zoning if a person is redeveloping. So we're here on the zoning changes page. I'm going to go click here to visit our new resource page. And on the resource page, there's a lot of resources in, in regards to zoning changes. However, we're going to start with the zoning map under interactive maps. By clicking that, it's going to launch a software similar to your Google Maps or your Apple Maps that you might be familiar with. And just like Google Maps, you can kind of find our property by typing in an address. And you may have some suggestions for the address. And it's now taken me to the site on Ross Avenue. However, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at. Uh, there's not all that much information here, and it might not be exactly where I'm looking for. So I might need to navigate a little bit more and click around to find exactly what I'm looking for. So if I want to find out the zoning and find our property, I'm going to go here to the left and go to map layers, turn that on by clicking on it. It's three squares stacked on top of each other. And layers are just collections of information for graphical representation um, of any given information. And so if I scroll through here, there's a number of different layers, um, but this one says zoning and it has a little cross through the eye. That means it's off. I'm going to hit click on the eye to turn it on. And that should turn on a lot of information, but potentially this is more information than we're looking for. And it might be hard to find exactly the information. So I'm going to expand this by hitting the triangle and that's going to bring up all these sub layers. I can see base zoning is on. That's good. However, there's additional information that may be confusing, um, may not be what we're looking for and clutters the map. So I'm going to turn off some of these overlays, which uh, they regulate uses and de uh, design on property, but they're not the primary concern today in regards to base zoning, which is the primary thing that limits uses and entitlements on a property. So I've turned off those overlays and all that remains generally is the base zoning. And so I can see that there are these thick black lines on the map. And those are the lines between the zoning districts. When I click on what I believe to be my property, it actually highlights a larger area. And that's because zoning is usually a collection of properties with the same zoning. They're in zones, right? So this when I clicked on it, it says the base zoning is CR, uh, that's community retail, that's a mid commercial district, um, allows stores and uh, restaurants and things like that. And it, it didn't just highlight the subject property I'm dealing with, it highlighted a lot. And how can I find my exact property to confirm it's definitely that CR? Well, another layer here is the Dallas tax parcels. And those are actually the property boundaries from the county. Um, every property has certain boundaries and those are mapped here. They also included the addresses that the county has. And that actually helps me find my 5001 Ross property because it's actually labeled right here. And I can also see the property lines of the property. And so when I click on that, I see the base zoning, which was on already. And then when I scroll through the tool tips, it narrows down a little bit and says, yes, this is 5001 Ross. It's a Walgreens and it has other tax information in regards to the property. Uh, but mostly it, it makes sure that I'm looking at the right spot and I've got the right zoning district for that property. So that was a helpful tool. Another tool in finding what I'm looking for 
in regards to property or any given research on, on development um, should be over on the right of the screen. We see base map. It's actually four little maps in an icon. And that brought up these uh, different base maps I can look through. There are many. I'm just gonna turn on imagery hybrid. That's gonna have satellite mapping as well as some uh, navigational tools, including the street names, Bennett and Ross. And so that helps me. Yes, I know this property is a drugstore and it kind of looks like that in the map, in the uh, sa satellite imagery. And so that helped narrow down what I was looking for and um, get a little more research done on this project. So I can see if I turn on my parcels again, that the property lines generally circle the drugstore and the parking lot, which is accurate to what I know about the property already. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and go back to the zoning map. But I can see that there are a number of zoning districts in this area, community retail just being one along this corridor, but there are other ones right next door even, neighborhood office NOA is right next door. And then further to the west, it says this whole large area, it says MF2A, that's multifamily. And then there are other districts scattered around throughout. So it is important to find the exact property you're looking for to make sure you're highlighting the right zoning for it. And so while these uh, this map will show all of the zoning districts, uh, you're not going to know all of the specific uses that are allowed in each district uh, because each district is quite specific. And that's information that's going to live in our code, which is also available online. And it's also accessible through the zoning resources page. So you'll have to review that at your own time. However, generally, you're going to know commercial research, commercial uh, retail, uh, stores, ret uh, restaurants, other things like that are going to be allowed in this CR, whereas in the multifamily, it's only going to allow things like housing, apartments, generally, um, the, the broad strokes are going to be very obvious, uh, hopefully, through this map. Um, there's some other information on the zoning map, one of them being council district. I've turned that layer on, except they're very large, so you can't exactly see. You might have to zoom out, but you can also click, just like we clicked on the zoning district. And this told me I was in council district two, which, and it tells me the council person for the area. So that's helpful when doing research on a property. Other information includes floodplain data regards to local floodplains, things like that, um, the city limits overall. And so you can explore these tools um, when, at your leisure because they're all accessible online and this is all public information. So thanks for viewing this tutorial. I hope it makes things a little more clear as to the zoning on any given property and uh, helps you navigate this information. And we look forward to better serve you in the future. Have a good time.